I am David Levin, and this is another episode of Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes TV stories you wouldn't have known from the people who were there. Today, in our archival conversation, Jack Larson and Noel Neal talk about All That Glitters, the final episode of Superman series where they finally get superpowers. Noel visits with George Reeves just before he died. The season of Superman that never happened. What happened after George Reeves died? The crazy story of the Superman Jimmy Olsen spinoff that almost happened and why it didn't. And a bit of, believe it or not, the Super Pup pilot and the Superboy pilot that never made it to series. One of the favorite episodes, which I understand was the last one that was shot, which is the one where you guys got superpowers. Do you want to talk about that? Well, I think the day before it happened, the um, little man came up with our call sheet for the following day, and they said, you know, bring an old bathing suit to work the next day. And I thought, well, swimming pool, swimming pool, or whatever. So that's what happened. They made the mold to fit us and put us on the little frying pan, as I call it, and sewed up our costumes on the side, and away we flew. That was fun. You kicked down doors. Yes. In process. Yeah. Did you get any insights to what uh, what George Reeves' life was like doing all those all those uh, stunts? I mean, what did you learn from doing the, that particular episode? Well, it was very tiring because when they'd say, "Okay, cut," and you could relax, but your body was held and your arms fell down, your legs fell, down, you know, whatever. And then they say, and "We're going again. Arms up, point your toes, and away we go again." <laughs> but he said that he was in the last ones. He was going to direct quite a few of them. And he said, no, he said, I'm getting a little old to be running around in my underwear, as you call it. He had such a great sense of humor. There was going to be another season, I understand. Yeah, 26. So it had called and uh, said, no, I, we're going to start again in September. We have 26 scripts from New York, and the way we go again. And he said, if you, um, you know, we're going to shoot at Ziv again. And he said, if you're in your neighborhood or drop by and see if your old suit still fits. So I dropped by a few days later and saw George. He was playing Jim Rummy with George Blair, who was a character. And he was happy. He was going to do a movie before that and a B movie kind of. Thing. And do another 26. And that was the end. I was in Europe, so I wasn't around. I, I, I was yeah. still trying to act mm -hmm. seriously, my idea at the time, <laughs> uh, serious acting, and I couldn't get a job in the United States. Um, uh, live television had stopped, mm -hmm. the, the drum, dramatic shows mm -hmm. where I had worked, and I got a chance to do a film at uh, Bavaria Film Kunst in Munich, and I was there oh, when, uh, and, but, I, but they exercised their option on me. We all had these very peculiar contracts. Two years later. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was very Two peculiar years. contracts that, uh, which wouldn't be allowed now, mm -hmm. that you were under really permanent contract. Mm -hmm. It was like seven years. All they had to do was send you a telegram exercising their option on your services, and you had to come to work with 30 days later right. you were, and I had gotten my uh, uh, option <laughs> exercise yeah. and yeah. it was a very complicated uh, situation That's strange. The, the other other shows have covered the, the circumstances regarding George Reeves mm -hmm. death and you know obviously the mystery that, that went on mm -hmm. with that um, and different TV shows different shows you know reality sort of intrudes you know, Jack, uh, John Ritter, who passed away um, on Eight Simple Rules, and they chose to continue the show. Phyllis Coates left Superman. They recast the part of Lois Lane. Mm -hmm. Different shows, different characters, different actors, different circumstances, whether they're, they're leaving for contract reasons or whatever. In this particular case, with the passing of George Reeves, they mm -hmm. elected not to recast the part. They said, we're going to... Was there any discussion, or was it just okay? He's gone. We're gonna we're gonna stop. Well, the only thing we knew, and then you can tell all your side about it, <laughs> that um, they uh, said, "Well, we've got a hundred and some in the can. That's what we need for syndication, and uh, half in color, half black and white. So we just won't do any more. I mean, it was just they didn't want to spend the money to do more." And of course, all the muscle men in town were at Mr. Ellsworth's desk with the agents, and 
I mean, we can play Superman, but you no, know, you tell your that they were going to make another series. Yeah, the Jimmy Olsen series. Yeah, mm -hmm. I they had. Um, I got the news that George had died uh, in Europe. I, I finished work in, in Munich, and I was in Italy. And my next stop was American Express, and then I got all this, uh, just tons of mail mm -hmm. at uh, American Express Piazza España. And uh, uh, I had already gotten, I was supposed to return to work. We were going to do 26 more, and then George was dead. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, um, and they wanted me very much to come back to New York. And I thought, why, I'm working in Europe, and maybe I had a film out, actually, in England mm -hmm. with Ethel Barrymore called Johnny Trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, maybe I'd get a gig in England. You know, who knows what I'm here. I can't work in the United States except doing Superman. And uh, so they wanted me very much to come back to New York, and so I did, well, they insisted I come back to New York. And I did come back to New York, and Mort Weisinger, who was the story editor, oh, yeah. Mort had devised mm -hmm. how they could do not 26, because Kellogg sponsored, and they put up money, and Jimmy Olsen was a very popular character, and it was now their most popular comic book was Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen. And so Mort had devised how they could salvage of the Kellogg's, who was putting up this million or so, uh, do 13 Superman pals Jimmy Olsen with clips of George, m m me, uh, everybody was in the, and that they could do that. And uh, I was very surprised. Uh, well, I was upset. Yeah, and you said it was too macabre. To yeah, I was upset. Was I mean, very frankly, mm -hmm. I was absolutely upset, and I mm -hmm. was in the office of the, at that time, uh, Jack Leibowitz and but Mort had already told me this, and I had told them. I said, "No, it's uh, you know I couldn't do it." I said, "Well, what would you do?" They had all these clips, and they do. They said, "If we need exactly," Mort said, "If we need a run by or a different thing to save Jimmy, we'll just send a muscle man with the in the Superman thing right, yeah. through, you know, to do it." And so I I said to them, I said, "Look, okay. I said." If I said I could do it, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Because you say you're going to send some muscle man <laughs> through. <laughs> and, and I said, if I saw the muscle man in, in, in George's mm -hmm. outfit, I'd start crying. Mm -hmm. I said, I said mm -hmm. the, the show, as far as I'm concerned, the show is over. And I don't want to do uh, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. And, uh, and there was some question whether I was legally obligated from my contract in doing this. It was a big question, may I tell you. Oh, and, uh, and our producer, Widows, were Wait. stood behind me, mm -hmm. who was a good guy, yeah, and yes. also didn't want to do it. And But there was a big uh, thing about legal obligation. Mm -hmm. And anyway, it was never done. But I think that uh, the thinking was they could have gone on in that way, but I was getting a little bit long in the tooth too, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, a super pup a, tank. Yeah, and then they and tried to do a, super or somebody you know, else. Superboy also, I think. Right? They we tried to do Superboy. They tried to do a number of things. Gerard and Christopher, we did one of his shows, one of these series. George Christopher, you know, we went to yeah, Florida, yeah, exactly, Paranoia. exactly yeah. so, exactly so. Well, that was fun. Next time, Jack and Noel talk about the other versions of Superman. Smallville, Lois and Clark, the Superboy series from the 80s. Noel talks about meeting fans and traveling to Metropolis, Illinois for the annual Superman celebration. Their funniest memories. What happened when George Reeves got injured? Turns out he wasn't really Superman. Plus, how they made Superman fly in the pre-digital, pre-screen 50s. Till then, what was your favorite iteration on, of Superman on screen? Was it animated, live action, TV, film? There's been a lot of people who played that part. Put your answers in the comments. I read every single one. Thanks for watching. Hey, want to talk to celebrities yourself? Become a Patreon subscriber and then tune in to ask them yourself. <laughs>